Swastika from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. The swastika is an equilateral cross with its arms at right angles to either the right or left. It is traditionally oriented so that a main line is horizontal, though it is occasionally found at a 45 degree angle to this, with the Hindu version typically featuring a dot in each quadrant. The history of the swastika goes back to the origins of the Eurasian continent. The swastika is an important symbol in Hinduism and Buddhism, among others, and was also used in Native American and Jewish faiths prior to World War II. By the early 20th century, it was regarded worldwide as a symbol of good luck and auspiciousness. A swastika was featured on the spine of books by Rudyard Kipling, and the symbol was used by Robert Baden Powell's Boy Scout movement. Since the rise of the Nazi party, the swastika has been associated with fascism, the Second World War and the Holocaust in much of the world. Prior to this, it was particularly well recognized in Germany from the archaeological work of Heinrich Schielmann who discovered the symbol in the site of ancient Troy. Nazi use derived partly from earlier German Rostik nationalist movements, for which the swastika was a symbol of good fortune, and from the Nazis' interpretation that the Aryans, in the diffuse meaning of Nazi ideologists like Alfred Rosenberg, were a white master race originating in Northern Europe. The swastika remains a core symbol of neo-Nazi groups. Since the end of the Second World War, there have been failed attempts by individuals and groups to convince Westerners to look past the swastika's recent association with the Nazis to its prehistoric origins. Etymology and alternative names. The word swastika is derived from the Sanskrit swastika, meaning any lucky or auspicious object, and in particular a mark made on persons and things to denote good luck. It is composed of su, cognate with Greek you, meaning good or well and asti, a verbal abstract to the root as, meaning to be. Svasti thus means well-being. The suffix ka forms a diminutive, and svastika might be translated literally as little thing associated with well-being, corresponding roughly to lucky charm, or thing that is auspicious. The word first appears in the classical Sanskrit, in the Ramayana and Mahabharata epics. Alternative names for the shape are crooked cross, cross crampond in heraldry, as each arm resembles a crampon or angle iron, cross grammadion or just grammadion, as each arm represents the Greek letter gamma, compare with croix gamme in Old French, or cru gamada in Spanish. Thilfot meaning four feet, used chiefly in heraldry and architecture. Sunwheel, in German Sonnenrad, a name used as a synonym for the sun cross. 
tetrakesial, Greek for four-legged, especially when composed of four conjoined legs. Thor's hammer, from its supposed association with Thor, the Norse god of thunder, but this may be a misappropriation of a name that properly belongs to a Y-shaped or T-shaped symbol. Hooked cross, in Dutch Hakenkruis, in German Hakenkruis, etc. Or the black spider, to various peoples in Middle and Western Europe. History of the swastika. The swastika appears in art and design from prehistory symbolizing in various contexts luck, the sun, Brahma, or the Hindu concept of samsara. In antiquity, the swastika was used extensively by Hittites, Celts, and Greeks, among others. It occurs in other Asian, European, African, and Native American cultures, sometimes as a geometrical motif, sometimes as a religious symbol. Today, the swastika is a common symbol in Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism, among others. The ubiquity of the swastika has been explained by three main theories. Independent development, cultural diffusion, and external event. The first theory is that the swastika's symmetry and simplicity led to its independent development everywhere, along the lines of Carl Jung's collective unconsciousness, or just as a very simple symbol. Another explanation is suggested by Carl Sagan in his book Comet. Sagan reproduces an ancient Chinese manuscript that shows comet tail varieties. Most of the variations on simple comet tails, but the last shows the comet nucleus with four bent arms extending from it, recalling a swastika. Sagan suggests that in antiquity a comet could have approached so close to the Earth that the jets of gas streaming from it, bent by the comet's rotation, became visible, leading to the adoption of the swastika as a symbol across the world. Theories of a single origin as a sacred prehistoric symbol point to the Proto-Indo-Europeans, noting that the swastika was not adopted by Sumer in Mesopotamia, which was established no later than 3500 BC, or by the Old Kingdom of Egypt, beginning in 2630 BC, arguing that these were already well established and codified at the time of the symbol's diffusion. As an argument ex silentio, this point has little value as positive proof. The swastika symbol is prominent in Hinduism, which is considered the parent religion of Buddhism and Jainism, both dating from about the 6th century BC, and the swastika symbol transferred as well. Buddhism, in particular, enjoyed great success, spreading eastward and taking hold in Southeast Asia, China, Korea, and Japan by the end of the first millennium. The use of the swastika by the indigenous Bon faith of Tibet, as well as syncretic religions such as the Cao Dai of Vietnam and Falun Gong of China, is thought to be borrowed from Buddhism as well. Similarly, the existence of the swastika as a solar symbol among the Akan civilization of southwest Africa may have been the result of cultural transfer 
along the African slave routes around 1500 AD. The existence of the swastika symbol in the Americas is a clear challenge to the diffusion theory. While some have proposed that the swastika was secretly transferred to North America by an early seafaring civilization on Eurasia, a separate but parallel development of religious symbolism is considered the most likely explanation. Regardless of origins, the swastika had generally positive connotations from early in human history, with the exceptions being most of Africa and South America. Adoption of the swastika in the West The discovery of the Indo-European language group in the 1800s led to a great effort by archaeologists to link the prehistory of European peoples to the ancient Aryans. Following his discovery of objects bearing the swastika in the ruins of Troy, Heinrich Schillmann consulted the leading Sanskrit scholars of the day, Emil Bernhoff and Max Müller. Schillmann concluded that the swastika was a specifically Aryan symbol. This idea was taken up by many other writers, and the swastika quickly became popular in the West, appearing in many designs from the 1880s to the 1920s. The positive meanings of the symbol were subverted in the early 20th century when it was adopted as the element of the National Socialist German Workers' Party. This association occurred because Nazism stated that the historical Aryans were the modern Germans, and then proposed that, because of this, the subjunction of the world by Germany was desirable, and even predestined. The swastika was used as a convenient symbol to emphasize this mythical Aryan-German correspondence. Since World War II, most Westerners see the swastika as solely a fascist symbol, leading to incorrect assumptions about its pre-Nazi use, and confusion about its current use in other cultures. Geometry and Symbolism Geometrically, the swastika can be regarded as an irregular icosagon, or twenty-sided polygon. The arms are of varying lengths and are often rectilinear, but need not be. Only in modern use are the exact proportions considered important. For example, the proportions of the Nazi swastika were based on a 5 by 5 grid. The swastika is chiral, with no reflectional symmetry, but both mirror image forms have 90 degree rotational symmetry, that is, the symmetry of the cyclic group C4. The mirror image forms are often described as left facing or right facing, left hand and right hand, or clockwise and counterclockwise. Left facing and right facing are used most consistently. Looking at an upright swastika, the upper arm clearly faces towards the viewer's left or right. The other two descriptions are ambiguous, as it is unclear if they refer to the direction of the bend in each arm, or to the implied rotation of the symbol. If the latter, the question as to whether the arms lead or trail remains. The terms are used inconsistently. 
sometimes even by the same writer, which is confusing and may obfuscate an important point, that the rotation of the swastika may have symbolic relevance. The swastika is, after the simple equilateral cross, the Greek cross, the next most commonly found version of the cross. Seen as a cross, the four arms emanating from the center point to the four cardinal directions. The most common association is with the sun. Other proposed correspondences are to the visible rotation of the night sky in the northern hemisphere around Polaris. Sauwastika The name Sauwastika is sometimes given for the supposedly evil left-facing form of the swastika. However, the evidence for Sauwastika seems sketchy and there seems to be very little other than conjecture to support the notion that the left-facing swastika regarded as evil in Hindu tradition. Although the more common form is the right-facing swastika, Hindus all over India and Nepal still use the symbol in both orientations for the sake of balance. Buddhists almost always use the left-facing swastika. This inversion, whether intentional or not, may derive from a desire to prove that the Nazis' use of the right-handed swastika was expressive of their evil intent. But the notion that Hitler deliberately inverted the good-facing swastika is wholly unsupported by any historical evidence. Art and Architecture The swastika is common as a design motif in current Hindu architecture and Indian artwork as well as appearing in ancient Western architecture, frequently appearing in mosaics, friezes, and other works across the ancient world. Ancient Greek architectural designs are replete with interlicking swastika motifs. Related symbols in classical Western architecture include the cross, the three-legged tricycle, or tricyclion, and the rounded Laobu. The swastika symbol is also known in these contexts by a number of other names, especially Gamadion. Pictish rock carvings adorning ancient Greek pottery and on Norse weapons and implements. It was scratched on cave walls in France 7,000 years ago. In Chinese, Korean, and Japanese art, the swastika is often found as part of a repeating pattern. One common pattern, called Sayagata in Japanese, comprises left and right facing swastikas joined by lines. As the negative space between the lines has a distinctive shape, the Sayagata pattern is sometimes called the key fret motif in English. The swastika symbol was found extensively in the ruins of the ancient city of Troy. In Roman art and in Romanesque and Gothic art in the West, isolated swastikas are relatively rare, and the swastika is more commonly found as a repeated element in a border or tessellation. A design of interlocking swastikas is one of several tessellations on the floor of the Cathedral of Amiens in France. A border of linked swastikas was a common Roman architectural motif, 
and can be seen in more recent buildings as a neoclassical element. A swastika border is one form of meander, and in this context, the swastika is sometimes called the Greek key motif. The Laguna Bridge in Yuma, Arizona, was built in 1905 by the U.S. Reclamation Department, and is decorated with a row of swastikas. The Canadian artist Man Woman has attempted to rehabilitate the gentle swastika. Religion and Mythology Hinduism The swastika is found all over Hindu temples, signs, altars, pictures and iconography in India and Nepal, where it remains very popular. It is considered to be the second most sacred symbol in Hinduism behind the Om symbol. In Hinduism, the two symbols represent the two forms of the creator god, Brahma. Clockwise, it represents the evolution of the universe, Kraviti. Anticlockwise, it represents the involution of the universe, Nivriti. It is also seen as pointing in all four directions, north, east, south and west, and thus represents stability and groundedness. Its use as a sun symbol can be seen in its representation of Surya, the Hindu lord of the sun. The swastika is considered extremely holy and auspicious by all Hindus and is regularly used to decorate all sorts of items to do with Hindu culture. It is used in all Hindu yantras and religious designs. Throughout the subcontinent of India, it can be seen on the sides of temples, written on religious scriptures, on gift items and on letterheads. The Hindu god Ganesh is closely associated with the symbol of the swastika. Among the Hindus of Bengal, it is common to see the name swastika applied to a slightly different symbol which has the same significance as the common swastika, and both symbols are used as auspicious signs. This symbol looks something like a stick figure of a human being. Swastika is a common given name amongst Bengalis and a prominent literary magazine in Calcutta is called the Swastika. Buddhism In Buddhism, the Swastika is oriented horizontally. These two symbols are included at least since the Liao dynasty as part of the Chinese language with the symbolic sign for the character Wan meaning all and eternality and as a written swastika which is seldom used. A swastika marks the beginning of many Buddhist scriptures. The swastikas in either orientation appear on the chest of some statues of Gautama Buddha and is often incised on the soles of the feet of the Buddha in statuary. Because of the association with the right facing swastika with Nazism, Buddhist swastikas after the mid 20th century are almost universally left facing. This form of the swastika is often found on Chinese food packaging to signify that the product is vegetarian and can be consumed by strict Buddhists. It is often sewn into the collars of Chinese children's clothing to protect them from evil spirits. 
The swastika, used in Buddhist art and scripture, is known as a manji, and represents dharma, universal harmony, and the balance of opposites. When facing left, it is the omote, front manji, representing love and mercy. Facing right, it represents strength and intelligence, and is called ura, rear-facing omoje. Balanced manji are often found at the beginning and end of Buddhist scriptures. Jainism. In Jainism, the swastika symbol is composed with that of a hand. It is a symbol of the seventh jina, the Tikthakara Supvatva. It is considered to be one of the twenty-four auspicious marks and the emblem of the seventh ahat of the present age. The Abrahamic religions. The swastika was not widely utilized by followers of the Abrahamic religions, perhaps because of its associations with pagan faiths. Where it does exist, it is not portrayed as an explicitly religious symbol and is often purely decorative, or at most a symbol of good luck. The floor of the Jewish synagogue at Ein Gedi built during the Roman occupation of Judea, was decorated with a swastika. Some Christian churches, built in the Romanesque and Gothic eras, are decorated with swastikas, carrying over earlier Roman designs. Swastikas are prominently displayed in a mosaic in the St. Sophia Church of Kiev, Ukraine, dating to the 12th century. However, a proposed direct link between a swastika floor mosaic in the Cathedral of Our Lady of Amiens, which was built on top of the pagan site at Amiens, France in the 1200s, is considered unlikely. The Muslim Friday Mosque of Afashan, Iran, and the Tainal Mosque in Tripoli, Lebanon, both have swastika motifs. Other Asian Traditions Some sources indicate that the Chinese Empress Wu, 684-704, of the Tang Dynasty, decreed that the swastika would be used as an alternative symbol of the sun. The Chinese character of the swastika had developed into a modern one pronounced fang in, Ch in standard Mandarin, and has the main meaning of square. As part of the Chinese script, the swastika has Unicode encodings U plus 534D, left bent, and U plus 5350, Right bent. In Japan, the swastika is called manji. On Japanese town plans, a swastika, left facing and horizontal, is commonly used to mark the location of a Buddhist temple. The right facing manji is often referred as gyaku manji, literally reverse manji. Pokemon playing cards sold in Japan had manji graphics, but because of its resemblance to the Nazi swastika, the card was altered for Western translations and eventually withdrawn in Japan following Western complaints. Similarly, a manji symbol was incorporated as a level design in both the Japanese and US versions of the 1986 Legend of Zelda video game. The left-facing Buddhist swastika also appears on the emblem of Falun Gong. This has generated considerable controversy, particularly in Germany, where the police have reportedly confiscated several banners featuring the emblem. 
A court ruling subsequently allowed Falun Gong followers in Germany to continue the use of the emblem. Native American traditions. The swastika was a widely used Native American symbol. It has been found in excavations of a Mississippian era sites of the Ohio Valley. It was widely used by many southwestern tribes, notably the Navajo. Among different tribes, the swastika carried various meanings. To the Hopi, it represented the wandering Hopi clans. To the Navajo, it represented a whirling log, a sacred image representing a legend that was used in healing rituals. The swastika, also known as the Philfot in northwestern Europe, appears on many pre-Christian artifacts, drawn both clockwise and counterclockwise within a circle or in a swirling form. The Greek goddess Athena was sometimes portrayed as wearing robes covered with swastikas. The Ogham stone, found in County Kerry, Ireland, is inscribed with several swastikas dating to the 5th century AD, and is believed to be, have been a altar stone of the Druids. The pre-Christian Anglo-Saxon ship burial at Sutton Hoo, England, contains gold cups and shields bearing swastikas. Today, it is used as a symbol for Asatru, the reconstructed religion of Northern Europe. Early 20th century use of the swastika Europe The British author Rajad Kipling, who was strongly influenced by Indian culture, had a swastika on the just dust jackets of all his books until the rise of Nazism made this inappropriate. One of Kipling's Just So stories the crab that played with the sea, had an elaborate full-page illustration including a stone bearing what was called a magic mark, a swastika. Some later editions of the stories blotted out the mark, but not its captioned reference, making the readers wonder what the mark was. The Russian Provisional Government of 1917 printed a number of new banknotes with a right-facing, diagonally rotated swastikas in their centers. Some have suggested this may have been the inspiration behind the Nazis' adoption of this symbol, as Alfred Rosenberg was in Russia at this time. It was also used as a symbol of the Boy Scouts in Britain and worldwide. According to Johnny Walker, the earliest scouting use was on the first thanks badge introduced in 1911. Robert Baden Powell's 1922 Medal of Merit design adds a swastika to the scout Fleur de Lis as good luck to the person receiving the medal. Like Kipling, he would have come across this symbol in India. During 1934, many scouters requested a change of design because of the use of the swastika by the Nazis. A new British Medal of Merit was issued in 1935. During World War I, the swastika was used as the emblem of the British National War Savings Committee. In Finland, the swastika was used as the official national marking of the Finnish Air Force and Army between 1918 and 1944. The swastika was also used by the Lotta Svard organization.
the blue swastika was the good luck symbol used by the Swedish Count Erich von Rosen, who donated the first plane to the Finnish White Army during the Civil War in Finland. It had no connection to the Nazi use of the swastika. It also still appears on many Finnish medals and decorations, in a visually understated manner. The Swedish company ASEA, now part of Asia Brown Boveri, used the swastika in its logo from the 1800s to 1933, when it was removed from the logo. In Latvia, too, the swastika, known as Thunder Cross or Fire Cross, was used as the marking of the Latvian Air Force between 1918 and 1934, as well as in insignias of some military units. It was also used by the Latvian fascist movement, Per Konkurs, Thunder Cross in Latin, as well as by other non-political organizations. North America the Sustika's use by the Navajo and other tribes made it a popular symbol for the American Southwest. Until the 1930s, blankets, metalwork and other Southwestern souvenirs were often made with swastikas. Shortly after the beginning of the Second World War, several Native American tribes, the Navajo, Apache, Tohono, O'odham, and Hopi published a decree stating that they would no longer use the swastika in their work. This was because to them the swastika had come to symbolize evil. This decree was signed by the representatives of these tribes. Here follows the text of the decree. Because the above adornment, which has been a symbol of friendship among our forefathers for many centuries, has been desecrated recently by another nation of peoples, therefore it is resolved that henceforth, from this date on and for ever, our tribes renounce the use of the emblem commonly known as the swastika or filfot on our blankets, baskets, art objects, sand painting and clothing. One year, in the first part of the 20th century, the Corn Palace in Mitchell, South Dakota, featured a design that had a swastika on one of the towers. Swastika is the name of a small community in northern Ontario, Canada, approximately 580 miles north of Toronto and five kilometers west of Kirkland Lake, the town of which it is now part. The town of Swastika was founded in 1906. Gold was discovered nearby, and the Swastika Mining Company was formed in 1908. The government of Ontario attempted to change the town's name during World War II, but the town resisted. In Windsor, Nova Scotia, there was an ice hockey team from 1905 to 1916 named the Swastikas, and their uniforms featured swastika symbols. There were also hockey teams named the Swastikas in Edmonton, Alberta, circa 1916, and Fernie, British Columbia, circa 1922. The 45th Infantry Division of the United States Army used a yellow swastika on a red background as a unit symbol until the 1930s, when it switched to a Thunderbird. In 1925, Coca-Cola made a lucky watch fob in the shape of a swastika, with the slogan, Drink Coca-Cola Five cents in bottles. Nazi Germany 
The National Socialist German Workers' Party formally adopted the swastika or Hakenkreuz in 1920. This was used on the party's flag, badge, and armband. It had been used unofficially by the NSDAP and its predecessor, the German Workers' Party. However, in Mein Kampf, Adolf Hitler wrote. I myself, meanwhile, after innumerable attempts, had lain down in a final form, a flag, with a red background, a white disc, and a black swastika in the middle. After long trials, I also found a definite proportion between the size of the flag and the size of the white disc, as well as the shape and thickness of the swastika. Red, white, and black were the colours of the old imperial flag. The use of the swastika was associated by Nazi theorists with their conjecture of Aryan cultural descent of the German people. Following the Nordicist version of the Aryan invasion theory, the Nazis believed that the early Aryans of India, from whose Vedic tradition the swastika sprang, Were the prototypical white invaders. Thus, they saw fit to co-opt the sign as a symbol of the Aryan master race. The symbol of swastika, as a symbol of the Aryan race, dates back to the writings of Emil Bernuf. Following many other writers, the German nationalist poet Guido van Liszt believed it to be. A uniquely Aryan symbol, and Hitler himself referred to the swastika as the symbol of the fight for the victory of Aryan man. Quoted from Mein Kampf. In fact, the swastika was already in use as a symbol of German Volkstich nationalist movements. In Deutschland erwach Ulrich of England. Says, what inspired Hitler to use the swastika as a symbol for the NSDAP was its use by the Thule Gestalt, since there were many connections between them and the DAP from 1919 until the summer of 1921. Hitler used the special National Socialist Library. Of Dr. Friedrich Kohn, a very active active member of Thule Gesellschaft. Dr. Kohn was also the dentist from Sternberg, who was named by Hitler in Mein Kampf as the designer of a flag very similar to the one that Hitler designed in 1920. During the summer of 1920, the first party flag. Was shown at Lake Tegernsee. These homemade early flags were not preserved. The Ortsgruppe Munchen flag was generally regarded as the first flag of the party. Jose Manuel Herbes says, "The first time the swastika was used with an Aryan meaning." Was on 25th of December 1907, when the self-named Order of the New Templars, a secret society founded by Adolf Joseph Lanz von Leberfels, hosted at their Feinstein Castle in Austria, a yellow flag with a swastika and floor for fleur-de-lis. However, Leberfels. Was drawing on an already established use of the symbol. On 14th of March 1933, shortly after Hitler's appointment as Chancellor of Germany, the NSDAP flag was hoisted alongside Germany's national colours. It was adopted as the sole national flag on the 15th of September 1935. The first political flag in the world to become a national flag. 
The swastika was used for badges and flags throughout Nazi Germany, particularly for government and military organizations, but also for popular organizations such as the Reichbund Deutscher Jägerschaft. Meanwhile, the DAP and the NSDAP had used both right-facing and left-facing swastikas. The right-facing swastika is used consistently from 1920 onwards. However, Ralph Stelter notes that the swastika flag used on land had a right-facing swastika on both sides, whereas the ensign, naval flag, had it printed through, so you would see a left-facing swastika when looking at the ensign with the flagpole to the right. Several variants are found. A 45-degree black swastika on a white disc, as in the NSDAP and national flags. A 45-degree black swastika on a white lozenge, for example used by the Hitler Jugend. A 45-degree black swastika outlined by thin white and black lines on a white disc. An upright black swastika outlined by thin white and black lines on a white disc. For example, Hitler's personal flag in which a gold wreath encircles a swastika. A small gold, silver, black or white 45 degree swastikas often lying on or being held by an eagle on many badges and flags. A swastika with curved outer arms forming a broken circle as worn by the SS Norland Division. Taboo in Western Countries Because of its use by Hitler and the Nazis, and in modern times by neo-Nazis and other hate groups, for many people in the West, the swastika is associated primarily with Nazism, fascism and white supremacy in general. Hence, outside historical contexts, it has become taboo in Western countries. For example, the German post-war criminal code makes the public showing of the Hakenkuss, the swastika, and other Nazi symbols illegal and punishable, except for scholarly reasons. The powerful symbolism acquired by the swastika has often been used in graphic design and propaganda as a means of drawing Nazi comparisons. Examples include the cover of Stuart Eisensatz's 2003 book, Imperfect Justice, publicity materials for Costa Gravas' 2002 film Amen, and a billboard that was erected opposite the U.S. Interests section in Havana, Cuba, in 2004, which juxtaposed images of the Abu Ghraib prisoner abuse pictures with a swastika. Founded in the 1970s, the Raelian movement, a religious sect believing in the possibility of immortality by scientific progress, used a symbol that was the source of considerable controversy. An interlaced Star of David and a swastika. In 1991, the symbol was changed to remove the swastika and deflect public criticism. The Society for Creative Anachronism, which aims study and recreate medieval and Renaissance history, imposes restrictions on its members' use of the swastika on their arms, although some arms dating to the early days of the group have the symbol. In recent years, controversy has erupted when consumer goods bearing the symbol have been imported to North America. 
In 2002, Christmas crackers containing plastic toy pandas sporting swastikas were pulled from shelves after complaints from consumers in Canada, although the Chinese-based manufacturer claimed that the symbol was presented in a traditional sense and not as a reference to the Nazis. In 1995, the city of Glendale, California, scrambled to cover up over 900 cast-iron lampposts decorated with swastikas throughout the downtown portion of the city. The lampposts had been manufactured by an American company in the 1920s and had nothing to do with Nazism. In 2004, Microsoft released a critical update to remove two swastikas and a Star of David from the font Bookshelf Symbol 7. The font had been bundled with Microsoft Office 2003. Punk rockers like Susie Sue, Sid Vicious and John Lydon used and were photographed using the Nazi version of the swastika for its shock value, notwithstanding that both Susie and Malcolm McLaren, the Sex Pistols manager, were Jewish. In January 2005, there was much criticism when Prince Harry of Wales, third in line of succession to the British throne, was photographed wearing a full Nazi attire, including a swastika armband, to a fancy dress party.